Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us again. I'm sitting in the new office of the superintendent that has been moved from up next to the middle school downtown into the, the old federal building and we would certainly like to invite you to come down and visit with us sometime. But as I sit here, I'm, I'm looking at a plan that has been drawn up some time ago that has to do with the improvements we would like to make at the high school. Now, several weeks ago, we were standing, it looked like, up in some weeds at the high school, and I was trying to describe to you what our thoughts were. Perhaps using this map, I can help you see exactly what we're planning on doing. Now, one of the things to note about this is there's a lot of extra yellow road that's on it. Now, some of these things might not pan out exactly the way that they look like on the, the, uh, the plat that I have here, but the key pieces are these. The road that comes in from Fontana Highway will come down just like it has traditionally, then it will loop around and actually if we can get the Department of Transportation to agree with us to continue working on this, it will loop down around by the baseball field and come out down on Bryson Branch Road. That's really important for safety, which is one of the reasons that we've been talking about this so much. If something were to happen at the main entrance next to Fontana Road and that were to be blocked off, all of our students and staff would be kind of locked in at the high school and we would have a hard time getting them out. That's why it's so critical we get that loop around the baseball field and the softball field so we can have another point of entrance. We also, though, need to change the way that students are dropped off and where some of the parking is so that we could have a one-point entrance with a system that's a lot like east and west where you buzz in to get in after the school day starts. It is so hard at the high school right now to keep ourselves safe and secure with all of the, in all the entrances and exits that we have. Another need that we have at the high school is also for additional class space. And if we could perhaps get some financial funding to help us do some renovations in the main building, then we could put some new science rooms, we could have some more counseling space, and we could have a central entrance point with security at that entrance point that would help us as well. All of those things cost money though, a lot of money. And there's no way right now that the county commissioners can help us with anything other than what they're already doing. Let me cut in right there. What you just saw was recorded on October the 8th. It's now October the 9th. Not even 24 hours since we produced the original video. And in that time, we have found out that we have been awarded $4.7 million in grant funding for critical needs capital spending. That is so exciting and we were hoping that that would come through but we weren't certain. Now again through partnering with our commissioners we're going to be able to do some of those things that I just mentioned or mentioned yesterday. We're going to be able to add classrooms. We're going to be able to add a new counseling center. And more importantly than those, I think we're going to be able to change the entrance point for the high school. But there still is a critical need. And that is we have to have a change in the way that traffic flows at the high school. That's still going to take funding. And so we're asking for you to think about that as we try to put all of these plans together and consider that on November the 6th when you go to vote because the quarter cent referendum will enable us to think differently even about how we can make transportation work. The Department of Transportation would love to help us, but their budget cycle is pretty far out for us. We need to make this move now. So when you go to vote, think about that. We are doing all that we can and the commissioners are partnering with us so that we can achieve the goals for safety and for education. Now we need to consider some other elements as well. We still need to build a Bright Adventures in a different place. We still need to move our bus garage. We still have some things we need to do at the middle school for safety and also to take care of critical needs that are there. So consider those elements of information as you go to the polls on November the 6th and then vote your conscience. Vote for the children. We will be transparent and we will be accountable to you. 
Thank you for listening to us. Hope you have a blessed day. God bless you.